on his side of the bracket too with uh, Rockstar mm -hmm. Ace over Nitro, right? Oh, really? Yeah. I didn't know that happened, actually. Yeah, that's, that's why it was Rockstar game. Ace versus Key instead of uh, Nitro. Dang. Yeah. So, uh, just a couple more upsets. I guess there was a couple upsets on that side of the bracket. Very good plays all around. Yeah. Some sick stuff happening, man. Only in SoCal will you see these kinds of uh, upsets happening since, you know, only in SoCal do PGR players just roll through all the time like this. Nice to live in a, in a region with good exposure. But game one here, key catch up. Keeping it even so far here on Pokemon Stadium 2. Jab's gonna net. Catch up with a lot of damage right there. Jab's a really good move, man. It's really fast. Kills. Dude, that hammer. Yeah, Do the back air, bro. Just kidding. Ooh. So, I think the majority of those multi hits with an air. So, I, I forget. Can you, you get to choose when you swing the hammer out of the up, beat, right? Yeah, you push the B button and you just press B again. That's why you'll see a lot of the, or I guess the Bowser Jr. mains, like, go for the ejection and then sometimes they just kind of wait out and see what you do. Yeah. Yeah, I love Ketchup will go for the six stuff with the Mecha Koopa setup. I mean, that's how he, he won against Cosmos. Oh no, he, he, uh, yeah, he hit him with something else, but yeah, he got him with the wand. Yeah. Getting the Harry Potter. Ketchup stuck at the ledge here. I mean, it's what Snake does. Sets up these beautiful ledge traps with the grab, down tilt, into the forward tilt, excuse me, down throw into the forward tilt. And that's going to be the first stock. Ketchup not far behind, though. Tries to set up the mecha, uh, the clown cart explosion. Oh, expecting oh. the wake of attack, going for the down air. Knowing that it was such like a big hitbox, he's gonna be able to get like multi hits and a lot of damage. Alright, it's okay. Forward air. Wow. Grenade. So Key is actually really proficient at using good grenades all around, as you should be with Snake, but in general I've seen him, you know, cook a grenade, toss it onto the stage as he's trying to recover, is able to release some pressure as he uh, makes his way back. A little bit of uh, his own grenade. Yeah, he just down tilted the mech. Best way. Alright, Ketchup finally finding the first stock with 159% later. Approaching the down throw percent. Oh, dude, I think this might actually be down throw percent. Cause I know they say it's 160, but I think it actually might be 159. <laughs> I'm sure if it wasn't, we would have just like seen a pummel. And then my character would have been there. That's true, yeah. Pummel. So yeah, essentially, like, he was already at, at the kill percent for that setup. As you mentioned, he would have just gotten the grab, pummel, up to it. Man, down throw. See, like, that's the word that he's playing the more game. Oh, yeah. They're yeah, only approaching yeah. when he has that armor buff. So you can, like, try and avoid. Ah, Ooh. dude, but he clown card right into the mortar. Yeah, up smash, taking yet another stock from Ketchup. Yeet. Nice. Yeah. That down smash with the ledge is pretty strong, but it's still not enough to take a heavy stock. I think it made the sense. Wow, that was amazing pressure from Ketchup. He actually used forward smash uh, and goes unpunished for it because of the, uh, the like, wind back from side B. You see more grenades up coming from Key. Even expecting uh, Ketchup to land, like, first snap for down up to to land because he's been continuing to land inside him this game more. Yeah. All right, he finally takes the stock. 92% to make up for here. He's closing the gap slowly. And he's doing his be the best he can for sure. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. That's unfortunate for a catch that like both F smashes went in this, like the similar path, yeah. both off stage. So he's gonna have to deal with both of them regardless. 
pulling out a grenade that grenade comes out so fast and just because as soon as it gets pulled out you know it's already a game yeah see all these trades is going in his favor over the only at 90 percent deficit is slowly creeped up to uh, almost 100 yeah he's at the point where again he, he cannot get grabbed now that is his win condition he doesn't even need it man landing on him with a back air Taking game number one. It looks rough. It looks rough. I mean, how, how, the way like Snake, or the way Bowser Jr. has to approach against Snake is kind of interesting because Snake can just sit back, set up shot, which is typically what like Koopa, the Koopalings want to do as well, being another projectile zoner. Yeah. But, like snake just does it so much better and and, and faster yeah and you can't like directly like koopa like use the uh, side b on the ground too because usually he is putting a grenade in front of him and he'll just like run into the grenade and it'll explode on the spot right there um he usually has to be like jump over and like come at him from an angle but even then it's like a very tight window for him to actually punish well, on Smashville, you know, we're going to have that extra platform which is going to be allow catch up to actually set up Mecha Koopa either on the platform or on the main stage uh, from the platform. So he's going to have a couple more options for how he wants to set up his stuff. But at the same time, you know, to get this inch pressure, not really allowing catch up to set up him regardless of where he is on the stage. Right, sets up the grenade on the platform as well as the C4. He may actually, I don't know if Ketchup is aware of it because it was a really, really quickly placed C4. Oh, he saw it. This is, I mean, dude, what's, what stage does Snake has have that like isn't good for him, you know what I mean? It's almost, I don't know if you see, but like that that one guy, he'll he'll take you the balloon fight. Have you seen him do that yet? No. Yeah, you gotta ban like if you play against that one guy, Snake, you gotta ban uh, FD and Battlefield. Why does he take you the balloon fight? Because you can't see the C4. Like you can't see you can't, the C4. You can't see it on like you can't Pokemon see it. either. No, 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 no. I mean like this is abs once the blinker is like once the blinking light is gone. That thing is invisible. You can't see it. Huh. And it's and it's legal because a uh, balloon fight doesn't mess with the Z axis. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Interesting. You'll see it, man. If he is he playing on stream one day and someone doesn't ban those stages, because I guarantee you, he'll take him there. Might just have to hit him with the music clause and be like, "Yo, you can't go there." <laughs> <laughs> Like, yeah, but it's not, it doesn't mess with the X, yeah, but it messes with my music access. So. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good. Oh, up till right here. Key really getting away with his game, too. Oh, King grenade and a couple hits of the Nair. Dude, I think he connected the nail, the Nair completely. <laughs> it was just every hit, I believe. That, that hurts, man. Snake's Nair is so satisfying. Dude, to land. seriously. Just like the sound it makes with every single hit that you hit, it's like boom, boom, boom. Oh my god, I'm getting bodied. <laughs> Satisfying to land, probably not not very great to get hit by. Yeah, not on the receiving end. There's nothing fun about that. Oh, oh, oh nice. Guess the gimp. Yeah, the clown car was still active and it, kinda, and it interrupted Key's recovery. I think at the very last second, yeah, it just fell too fast. Catch up 118 right here. He's grabbing the ledge and he clown carts right into Snake's foot up till taking game two. And in that position, Ketchup didn't really have too many options. Uh, he could have gone re recovered high with a ejection, but at the same time, you know, Key could just shark the landing. He had already grabbed the ledge, so it would have been a re-grab. Key obviously could just yeah, back aired him. <laughs> back aired, down smash. You know, he had a wide variety of moves at that point of what he wanted to do. We're going into game three. He up 2 0. Now we're on battlefield. I guess it's the stage that you could opt for against Snake, but I feel like, especially with like a, any Snake that's really 
good control of the grenades. He's gonna be able to set up these grenades, not only on the stage, but on these platforms as well, especially with these, like, two mid platforms. Just really eliminates your recovery options when, honestly, Battlefield should be helping your recovery options. Game three, Battlefield, huh? Yep. I wonder what Ketchup uh, was thinking going here in particular. Probably thinking that, you know, he isn't going to have a lot of opportunities to run away. The stage is kind of small. But at the same time, bro, you know, this makes those explosions that much bigger. Yeah, and it's pretty, like, the movement, the access to movement that Snake has on this stage is, is pretty sneaky because he can actually, like, um, he can use like a B reverse, like down B, and use the C4 on the uh, like edges of the platform to like maneuver around the platforms while placing a C4. Well, this looks like this smaller stage is allowing Captain to play a little bit more aggressive, which is definitely the play that we needed to see from him. Oh, but these grenades getting pulled out, you know, these really quick frames. Giving Katsu so much trouble, he's just continuing to see trade after trade going in Key's favor. Oh. But I wonder how Ketchup is feeling right now. He's just like the number one seed at the tournament. PGR player. He's got a PGR uh, win under his belt. And then he's like right into Snake. But... <laughs> you know, I'll be like that sometimes. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Good call out from Key though. Seeing the whip wand attack from Ketchup, immediately just up airing. Getting a complete reversal on Ketchup. Whoa, that kill? Okay, I didn't think I was gonna kill. He got him, man. Magic wand, securing a stock. Ketchup still in this. Down air does connect. Ketchup is uh, actually, from what I see in this game, Ketchup is taking a lot less damage from the grenades. He's more cognizant of when uh, he has one in hand, so he's avoiding throwing out a hitbox at him so as to avoid that explosion. Uh, he was expecting a re-grab, or maybe just a clown cart uh, for the horizontal recovery, trying to end the game 110%. Okay, Ketchup's facing out these back airs. Oh, gets the down throw! Tries to go for a tech chase, but catch him able to escape. F tilt almost, but no cigar. He goes, dips below the mortar, and finally the like third or fourth one that he threw up there takes it. Where are my Three. kill cams? 3-0, bro. I feel like every game didn't have a kill cam. Like, oh, the, the, oh, okay. the dramatic zoom thing? Yeah. yeah. I know the, the up tilt ending did. But where are my kill cams, man? All right, man, chat getting wild, bro. I saw someone say, show my feet, dude. You gotta pay, you gotta pay for that. Biz business inquiries, you can catch my email in the, on my Twitter. Who's, who's next? Uh, well, it should be Key versus Nico. I think I'll, uh, Key versus Nico. Should be interesting. Should be um, very interesting. I'm gonna go ahead and hop off. Is Tempo here? Tempo's here, right? 